In this video tutorial, let's assume your cloud data and your device are set up and you're ready to start capturing evidence. We'll look at how you capture evidence, what happens when you save it as a draft, and then how do you share it with your colleagues. So let's tap the capture button. We can add a learner by tapping the plus button next to learners. We can open up Gemma's group and we'll choose Annie Smith. If we want, we can add multiple learners, but we'll just capture evidence for Annie right now. We can choose a date by tapping the calendar button. And we can add a photo by tapping the plus button on the image placeholder. In this case, we're going to take something from the camera roll. And we're going to add the second photo. We can change the order of the photos with a flick or a swipe gesture over the photos. We can push the photos backwards and forwards until we have the order just right for our needs. Let's add some comments by tapping the plus button next to comments and we'll use a template. Comment templates are a great tool for prompting you to add certain bits of information to the evidence. They're also great for making your comments consistent across all devices. And now let's attach some statements from the EYFS framework. And we'll just pick a couple of statements to go with this evidence. And lastly, tap the plus button next to tags if you want to attach a tag to this evidence. I'm going to tag this evidence as special merit. And for now, we're done. We'll save the evidence as draft, which means it will stay on the device. It won't get pushed up to the cloud. We can go into the learner profile and we can find Annie Smith and we can see the evidence that we have on this device or we can go in back to the launch screen and go to the edit evidence screen. We can tap the thumbnail to edit the evidence. And I'll just add some more comments. And this time I'm going to save the evidence as published by tapping the orange button labeled draft. The system knows to save published evidence to the cloud. And we can tap settings and see the cloud parent status. Tapping the status is a quick way of syncing the evidence. Now if we go back to the edit evidence screen, we can see our evidence is gone. And it's up in the cloud, so we need to change our filter criteria to look for the cloud. And we're gonna to choose to look for Annie Smith's evidence in the cloud. And there it is. We can tap the thumbnail to view the evidence. And if we tap the green publish button, it switches the evidence back to draft. And add more comments. So this evidence is stored in the cloud and we're editing it directly in the cloud using our device. We can of course use any other device that's paired with our cloud to edit the same piece of evidence. And this is great if you need to collaborate with other colleagues, such as a teaching assistant. So let's pick up a different device that's also paired to our cloud, and we'll just see how this works. And as you can see, there's no evidence available on this device at the moment. So we'll change the filter from search in the device to search in the cloud. And we'll also set it to search for Annie Smith. And there it is. We can tap the thumbnail to open the evidence, we can see it's got everything we added earlier and if we tap the green button it goes from published to draft and now we can edit the evidence directly in the cloud from this device. So you can see it's a very powerful tool particularly in a busy classroom with teachers and assistants capturing evidence on multiple devices. Now while we're on this device, let's quickly capture more evidence. We'll save that to the cloud and we'll see how that appears on the original device. So let's capture 
we'll choose our learner and we'll keep this the same, Annie Smith. We'll leave the date as today. We'll pick a photo. We'll add some comments. and we'll link it to our framework, the EYFS. OK, let's set this to published so it saves to the cloud and then we'll tap save. And let's pick up the original device again and we'll edit evidence and there it is. And because all the evidence is held centrally in the learner's cloud profile, you don't need to worry about which device you're using to capture evidence. You don't need to worry if they move classes, and you don't need to worry if they transition from year to year. Their learning story stays with them the whole way through.